Hey Crossword fans! Today we're going to be solving the New York Times crossword for Saturday, February 6th, 2021. Alright, let's get started. Alright, one across. First name in Russian literature? Hmm. Is it going to be a character in Russian literature or an author's name? Hmm. I don't know that much about Russian literature, so... Did a Daffy Duck impression say? Uh, well, Daffy Duck has got a well-known lisp, right? So maybe it's lisped? He's got a speech impediment? Alright, first name in Russian... Yeah. Requiring... Hmm... In need of? That could be... Three words, yeah. Princess of Monaco. Princess of Monaco. Hmm. I is that like the current princess of Monaco? I, I, I don't know. Do, would people know that? Wasn't Grace Kelly a princess of Monaco? Am I? She was princess of something, wasn't she? Once she got married. Hmm. All right. Nice pair of boxers. Uh, I'm assuming maybe boxers are. They're talking about a dog. It was a wordplay clue. Hmm. Is it just pups? I guess it could be. It could be pets, maybe, too, but I'm, I'm gonna say pups, maybe. Long proposed constitutional initials. I think that's talking about the Equal Rights Amendment. Um. Yeah, it's been proposed for a long time. I don't know since when, but it's. I know it's been a very long time. Sad song? I guess that could be a dirge, like a funeral dirge. Intestine related. Hmm, well, these letters look pretty good. I don't think I know this word. Um, hmm, I know il iliac, I think, is something to do with the intestines. I see that on spelling bee every once in a while. But I think that's just one section of the intestines. Like many engagement stones. Hmm. Engagement stones. Not sure about that one. Some records for short. That's EPs. They're talking about like, like musical albums. I think EP is extended play. Shrug. Okay. Yeah, we don't. We haven't encountered this too often, but um, I mean, maybe for solving Saturday, you know this already. But when something is in brackets like this, it's like a non-verbal um, clue, and you're you're supposed to put in what this sort of non-verbal action connotes, I guess. So maybe it's meh. Yeah, when you shrug, you're kind of like ambivalent about something. Big jackpot for short. Hmm. Is it just mill? Like a million dollars would be a big jackpot, I guess. Home of the Nez Perce Indian Reservation. Hmm. I mean, I've never heard of this, but it looks like it might be Idaho. Yeah, and then mill is looking pretty good. So let's see if we can get this down here. One's practicing social distancing. Hmm. I'm getting some wordplay senses here. One's practicing social distancing. I don't think it's going to be about the coronavirus. Hmm. Maybe it's just kind of generic social distancing, so it would be loners. Yeah, they're always away from society. Mm hmm. Hmm. What is it? Stefan. Stephanie or something? I guess that would fit. I uh, Princess Stephanie? Hmm. Some records. Like... Like Guinness Book of World Records records? Yeah. First... Yeah. Like if you're the first to do something, that could be a record. Okay. Yeah, I just kind of put that I in there in my mind, and that helped me see the, f the first answer. 
So this could be an E, right? Get out. Escape, maybe? Yeah, I like those letters. Escape. Let's see if we can get some of these long crosses here. Chronicles from a feminist perspective. Maybe it's her stories instead of histories. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that looks good. It's kind of a clever pronoun swap. Once popular resort area in the Catskills informally. Oh, interesting. I'm very near to the Catskills now, so I should know this, but I don't... This isn't looking familiar to me. Once popular resort area. Hmm. So it's not popular anymore. Okay, see 13 down. Traditional 19 down soother. Hmm, I think we're going to need some more help to get either of these. A real cinematic tour de force. Here we get an indicated wordplay. Hmm. Interesting. I don't know where the pun is going to be here. Huh. Share as a plot? Hmm. It's not like a plot of land, right? Is it like a criminal plot? Share. Hmm. Is it like spill? Like you're... Like spilling the secret about it? That doesn't sound very good to me. Kind of tone. Hmm. Boy, we just kind of hit a wall over here, didn't we? We get some of these downs. Getting started the wrong way. Hmm. Another wordplay clue. I wonder if this is going to be like in incorrect grammar or something. That's that's going to be the how it's the wrong way. It's like a sort of a a phrase that people use incorrectly. I don't know. More venerated or ventilated. Author of 1984's The Origin of the Family, Private Property, and the State. Oof. This sounds like a political screed of some kind. <laughs> I have no idea what this is. You might get a rise out of this. Jeez, these are all so generic. Okay. What do you think you're doing? <laughs> is that just hay? It seems so easy compared to what we've been looking at. Give an edge. This is like... Give an edge on its face means like you're giving someone an advantage or like kind of cheating. But I, I think this is more like... Gonna be like literally give something an edge like cut or... Hmm. Ah, oh, a rise. Like maybe baking. You might get a rise out of this. Yeast. Okay. Hmm. Oh, Plank Hufflepuff, one of the co-founders of Hogwarts. Wow. All right. I am such a Harry Potter nerd. I actually know this. It's Helga Hufflepuff. Oh, boy. Thank goodness. <laughs> I know that's kind of arcane Harry Potter knowledge, but I really need some help in this corner over here. Getting started the wrong way. Jeez, what a tough. These, um, these, this pair here is really tough because there isn't really a way to know anything about these. I mean, the fact that this is a soother is like you can maybe try and guess some stuff out of it but just the fact that they're both here in this section kind of blocking progress is it's just really tough to have that that pair in there because you can't really get a lot of information about it mm. and we might be ha we might have to build back up from from the bottom here actually nice job I guess this could be great work. Yeah, that's an equivalent phrase. Give it time. I feel like this is going to start with let. 
let it rest, maybe? Hmm. Hmm. Fault finds to a fault. So you're very critical. You're like nitpicky, maybe? Hmm. Informal address at school. Hmm. Charles Blank, how Angelo Siciliano is better known. Hmm. Is this an actor? Stuffed. Sated. Hmm. Government program. Wordplay clue. Hmm. Hardwood option. That could be teak. I know teak is a wood. I don't I'm not sure if it's hardwood or not. Plain as day. Is that overt as opposed to covert? We've got a V here. Big scoop. Hmm. Like a news story, maybe? Hmm. Hero of Virgil. Okay, that's gonna be Aeneas, right? Um, of the Aeneid. Uh, how do you spell his name? I think it's this. Is it A-E? That could be right. Many characters in Kill Bill. Well, what were the characters were like ninjas, weren't they? Hmm. I mean, they're, they're like martial artists, at least. Hmm. Okay, certain government security is gonna be a note. Um, I think it's usually a T note, like a treasury note. Cover, and this looks like it's gonna start with the. <laughs> okay, big scoop is not a, um, what's well, being scooped, I guess it's the scooper. So it's gonna be shovel. Oh, many characters in Kill Bill. There's four L's in Kill Bill. Oh man, that's so tricky. And it's not indicated as wordplay either. Oh, well, that's a Saturday for you. Just the facts, please. Is that no nonsense? Yeah. Government program. Hmm. So it's not let it let it rest. Hmm. Mercedes Benz sedan type. Uh, I think Mercedes-Benz uses classes, so something class maybe, like A class or B class, something. I don't know what I don't know what they start with though, so hopefully we'll get be able to get it on the cross here. It's probably an S, because this is present tense. Hmm. High blank looked down on. Hmm. Is it high? No, it's not high nose. <laughs> High-minded? Huh, I don't, that doesn't sound like the right part of speech. Like jacket lining, typically. Hmm, this almost looks like it ends in ED also. Not hold back on criticism. Attacked in a way. Boy. World leader with a role in 1961's annexation of Go. Is this a, I think this is a, a place in India, I believe. It's one of their, I don't know if they call them states or provinces, but I think that's in India. Hmm. Twain. Um, well, what does Twain mean? Never the twain shall meet. Hmm. Is that the space between two things? Or is it, does, does it just mean two things? Hmm. This would be an O if it was two. Affirmation of commitment. Yeah, that could be I do, like a wedding vow, right? I'm just gonna put in two here. Music genre that includes geeksta rap. Interesting. Hmm, geeksta rap. So it's gonna be like nerd music or something? Hmm. 
Abbreviation sometimes written three times in a row. Maybe it's etc. Sometimes that's repeated. Hmm. Young amp amphibians. Yeah, that's efts. This is a very crosswordy, um, very crosswordy answer. It's like a juvenile salamander. <laughs> what a mule kicks with. I guess that would be its hind feet, right? Intersection sign. Hmm. Octaves follower in a Petrarchan sonnet. Petrarchan sonnet. Wow. I just know nothing about this. <laughs> this is like poetry, obviously. I don't know what Petrarchan means. Hmm. Inside the NBA error. I guess that could be TBS, maybe? I don't really know anything about basketball. Ending in a B is a little strange. Could it be TNT? It could be. Hmm. Stuffed. Oh, I said sated before, didn't I? I think it's satiated. It's a similar, yeah, similar meaning. This could be like harps. Like you're harping on something. Although this this almost looks like it ends in C, doesn't it? Maybe it's carps. Yeah, like carp, carping is complaining about something. This almost looks like a Rorschach test. <laughs> yeah, that's not that's not what it is. All right, well, we should put in Stephanie here just because I'm having so much trouble getting a foothold anywhere. One, like many engagement stones. Oof, boy, this is really tough. This is not looking like anything to me. I guess pups could be wrong. That I was thinking that could be pets. more venerated. I mean, usually when you're having a, a comparative clue like this, it's going to end in ER. Like, okay, yeah, I think, yeah. So this is going to be holier, right? It's ventilated if it has holes in it, or if it's holier, it's venerated, like in a religious sense. Oof, boy, that's tough. Is this dope? Like in sports, like you dope, you get an edge, you you take like performance enhancing drugs. I don't think so. It almost seems like it should be an L based on this name. Hmm. A real cinematic tour de force. <laughs> oh my god. Is this Star Wars? Oh man. It's like, it's because Star Wars has the force in it. Oh my goodness. What a hard clue for that. Yeah, this is looking like Escape still. And then, yeah. This is so hard. This. Mm. Mm. I don't. I really don't think it's spill. I'm. I, I almost want it to be about like a plot of land. Oh no! It's a plot as in like a story, isn't it? Like if you spoil, if you, if you share a plot of a story, you'd spoil it. It's like a spoiler, yeah. Wow, the cluing on today's puzzle is so tricky. Uh, 
oh, I think I just hit on what this is. This is getting started, like uh, starting a car the wrong way. Like wrong is in like immorally. I think it's hot wiring. Like you're starting a car criminally. Unless it's your own car. If you want to hot wire your own car, I think that'd be okay. Um, good Lord, what is this? <laughs> is it horse or something? Is this earth? Earth tones? Oh man. Dermal. Okay, so this is looking like throat actually. So I don't know if I like dermal um, for that. Is this gonna be maybe some kind of medicine? Throat soother, herbal tea. Yeah, there we go. Wow. Oh man, this pair is so brutal. I mean, I guess mm, the the word soothe is used a lot in relation to like a throat. I feel like more than anything else. Um, yeah, maybe you should think of like a sore throat as something that needs to be soothed. But still, this just put this just caused so much trouble. All right. Give an edge. I guess that's hone. Yeah, if you're like sharpening something, you're honing it. Ugh, Ang is it angles? That's vaguely, maybe I've heard of this person. Borscht belt? Good, what? Oh my God. I've lived in New York State all my life and I've never heard of the borscht belt. <laughs> I guess is it like a Russian area that was a resort? This is so odd, what a weird answer. Okay, and then this is be patient. Okay, we finally got some breakthroughs here. Okay, informal address at school. I think address is in the sense of like, you're addressing a person, like like someone's title. So this could be teach. This is a very informal way of, yeah, addressing a teacher. I think you'd have to make sure uh, your teacher was okay with it before you called them that. Uh, I guess this is high-hatted. Yeah, I think that makes sense. Atlas? Charles Atlas. I feel like I've maybe heard that name before. I don't know what I don't know what T is famous for though. Hmm. Okay, so maybe a jacket line is sewn in. It's not it doesn't end in ED. Sewn in. Yeah. Government program. Okay, I guess a TV show that's about the government is The West Wing. I never watched that one. I know people really like it, though. Attacked in a way. Is it dissed? Yeah, and maybe this isn't two, but it's a duo. Yeah, that sounds good. Uh, is it Nehru? I know Nehru is a, was a leader. I, I mostly know because of the word Nehru jacket. The term Nehru jacket is like a style of jacket, but um, I do think it was a leader, yeah. Um, okay, not hold back on criticism is probably dish it out. So is it not feet? Dish it out. Oh, I guess it's... Okay, I guess it's hind foot singular. Hmm. Yeah, this is tricky. It could go either way. Okay, I guess this is nerd core. Okay. Yeah, that sounds plausible. Intersection sign. I guess it's turn, so I think we can safely put in TNT here. I'm not sure what the beginning's gonna be. In due process? Yeah. Hmm. Is a Petrarchian sonnet something that progressively goes down? So maybe there's an octave and then a sestet, like it goes from eight to seven? Hmm. 
Yeah, Apple Store. Yeah, they used to sell the iPod Nano, right? No U-turn. Okay, yeah. And then Marketing Ploy is a tie-in. Boy, I think this is the first time we've looked at this clue. I might have been able to get that. Maybe. Okay, yeah, I think we're looking really good throughout here. Wow. Boy, that really just came together pretty quickly once we kind of solved this section, didn't it? Man. Hmm. I'm going to need some herbal tea after this, this, <laughs> this tricky section. All right, but now we have this, which is even worse because I don't know either of these words. Oh, no. No, this is, this is like a, looking like one carrot. Why didn't I see that before? It's like the size of the stone. Hmm. Yeah, I guess maybe this T really helped me see that. Interesting. Nice pair of boxers. Huh. It's not pecs, is it? Like your pectoral muscles? Why would those be boxers? Is it like on boxers? On, on like people that box, like pugilists, they have nice pecs because they're like muscular? God, what a weird clue. <laughs> Why wasn't this about dogs? I'm so disappointed. Okay, so I think this, even though it's strange, I think this is probably right. So, okay, is this Tolstoy, Leo Tolstoy? All right, yeah, that sounds very plausible. So, enteric? Ooh, you never would have got this. I, would, I needed every single, I, I needed every single cross here. All right, let's see if Leo Toy, Tolstoy can help finish off the puzzle for us here. Nice. All right. Actually, the Saturday in 33 minutes, um, I think is actually not too bad historically um, for us. Yeah, it's actually not a bad time. I felt like I was floundering so badly in the kind of the middle section of that puzzle. We got we got started pretty strongly. And then, I don't know, some just tri real tricky clueiness kind of threw us for a loop. Um, yeah, again, this this really, I think if this these had been clued separately, like if these had been gettable, like if you include herbal tea on its own and throat on its own, I think this that would have probably knocked 10 minutes off this time. It's just like, this is so tough when you get no help at all for two giant clues in, a, in the same section. Um, but yeah, I honestly, like, I think there's some short shortness here, um, which isn't great, but you know, I think there's some fun answers in here. Um, like Borscht Belt is cool. I just have never heard of it. Her stories is great. Hot wiring is fun. Um, yeah. I mean, it's just, and then like, I have no idea who this is. So yeah, I'm gonna say I'm kind of like ambivalent about this puzzle. The, I think some of the cluing was fun. Some was a little weird though, like this. Um, yeah, but overall, not too bad. Can't believe it took me that long to get this Star Wars clip. All right. Um, well, I hope you enjoyed solving this one with me. It was a pretty tough Saturday, but I think we got through it fairly unscathed considering how um, how tricky I think it, it felt. Uh, yeah, all right. So that's going to do it for today. Tomorrow's going to be the Sunday puzzle. Hopefully we'll get a nice theme. It'll be a nice long solve for a lazy Sunday. And yeah, that's going to be it for now. All right. I'll see you next time.